Here's a little uh, Bing toy lantern, about 1900. Slightly the worse for wear at the moment. There's the top of the chimney. And one of the feet is off. This was used in the 1990 Magical Lanterns exhibition at Museum of the Moving Image in London. There's a handling exhibit with um, this halogen light unit, which I've now removed, so that children could make their own acetate slides and slip them through and see them on the little screen, and it was very popular. And it was my lantern at the time, and it was used for that, and I haven't used it since. So, time to tidy it up, and I think the outside basically needs painting. So I won't paint the chimney, I'll keep that Russian iron. Interesting mix of um, Russian iron finish and black, which um, is original. So, uh, clean up the rust and then metal um, primer undercoat and get on with it. Chimney's now back in one piece. Clean the lens up a little bit and um, spruced up the areas that needed some black paint and fixed uh, the foot back on that was off. So that's just waiting now for its light unit which is on the way. 10 watt LED lighting unit. Well I've now got all the lighting components that's a little 10 watt LED. Um, I had some of these in stock. It's a small heat sink. It's big enough certainly for a 10 watt unit without using a fan. Um, some of the gunk, the heat thermal cream. A spare one of those, don't need that. And um, the driver for the appropriate voltage, which is 240 in and about uh, between 8 and 12 out. Um, that's fine, very cheap and this is the original halogen unit which I'm about to take apart to probably cannibalise it to make a new stand inside for the new heatsink and lamp rather than make something from scratch because no one's ever going to use halogen bulbs again in this situation so I'll just take it a bit. Just drilled the holes for that to screw onto there. If I can find some tiny uh, self tappers, can't use nuts and bolts because there's a fin on the back of that heatsink, so that will be a bit difficult. Um, I've drilled that hole already, I've got a little bolt in there to hold that to a piece of aluminium that will position it on the old halogen stand. So, it shouldn't be too difficult. Oops, I think those two little screws will probably do it if I can get them to screw in. Let's see what happens. Well that's working okay. Now I'll take those out and it's on with the gunky stuff. Positive on the left of that tag and there's a negative the other side. Right, well I've soldered up the chip with enough wire coming off one side to eventually put in a switch 12 volt switch and um, so there can be a local switch next to the little projector. A uh, temporary plug, mains plug on the uh, in here all wired up ready to go so I'll just lean over to the main switch and uh, here we go yep well you probably can't tell on the video but that's very bright so success now I need to add the gunk and put it onto the heatsink thermal grease there's some there and uh, 
shouldn't be doing this on the bench with sawdust, but I'm doing something else at the moment. So anyway, now time to smear that on there. And that's done. And there we are. I think that should be okay. Okay, well, uh, let's have a look. There's the 10 watt LED on the heat sink inside. There will be provision for a 12 or 24 volt, whatever it is, switch on there, on that cable. It can be installed somewhere on site. And then the mains cable comes down for 13 amp, 240 volt supply. So, um, I've got this slide which is actually uh, not quite the right depth, it's a bit small for this, but um, I'm going to switch on, put that in, hold up a temporary screen and see what sort of result we get. Oh, got a picture, it's pretty good. I think this is going to work okay. Well, it needs some adjustment. The lens is certainly in cleaning. Gives a pretty good picture. Slides flopping about in there, but some of the slides used had wooden frames, so there has to be a fairly wide aperture for them. But there's quite a high ambient light in this room. Daylight coming in, and I wanted to see what it looked like with a reasonable amount of room light. I doubt that it will get used in the dark and uh, on a smallish picture that's, that's fine. So even out the light, clear off the dirt and we're done. <laughs>